Now that we have our multi-line set up, we're going to go ahead and start to draw the outside of our structure with them. So to do that, we're going to click on Draw, Multi-Line. You should see Wall down here for the style. If not, you can right click, select Style, and type in the word Wall. And it should then bring up the wall that you created. It doesn't really matter where we start but we're going to pick somewhere towards the bottom center of your screen and we're going to give it the first length which is 11 feet 6 inches notice that it is capping the walls for us and it's making both lines at the same time this is what we had originally set it up for uh, we want it, our wall to extend up 25 feet 6 inches to go back over 25 feet 11 inches and now we have a dilemma because we have this 3 foot gap in between we haven't talked about how to do that yet it's fairly easy we're gonna right click to tell it that we are continuing a multi line and with our object snap bar, we have multiple tools on here. One we have not used yet is snap from. And this uses a pre-existing point and offsets it from that point. So we're going to click on snap from. And if you did not have your uh, object snap turned on down here, you can stack snap commands and say snap to endpoint as well and snap to this top endpoint. Now it's asking us to offset. We want to offset from where we're at, so we're going to give it a relative uh, data point. So at three feet in the x direction, comma, zero in the y direction. And there it started our wall. We only want to continue this over one foot one inch we'll continue it back down again another 30 and it does actually work a lot better if you type in 30 feet instead of 30 inches so let's try that again continue down 30 feet back the other way another 14 feet 9 inches up 11 feet and back over again another 1 foot 1 inch Okay, and we have the main outside edges of our house structure. 